Welcome, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Acasis 3.5 inch dual hard disk array box. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look on the back, we have some product information. You can pause and read through that. And here we have the specs. So this supports four different RAID modes. It supports Windows 7, 8, 10, I'm sure 11, and then also Mac OS 10.2 and up. So let's get this open. So here we have the drive enclosure. And here we have the accessories. So we have a power supply here. Output on it is 12 volts at four amps. Here we have a USB cable. So this has USB-C on one end and USB-C on the other with the USB-C to USB-A adapter. And here we have screws. So let's get this open. It looks like it slides open. There's a little tab here. Okay, so the drives will get mounted on either side of this. And then we have some dip switches here. And I'll put a graphic up on the screen. And we have four different modes. So if they're both down, that would be off. That is a RAID 0, which is striped array. So in that mode, you'll get the capacity of both drives. So let's say, for instance, you have two four terabyte drives. You'd get eight terabytes total. And it will put half the data on one drive, half on the other. Now, if you have one off and two on, that's RAID 1 or mirror mode, and that writes the same data to both drives. So if you had two four terabyte drives, you'd have four terabytes total, but then you would have redundancy if one of the drives goes down. If you have both up, you have JBOD, which is just a bunch of disks. So that will recognize the drives as two separate hard drives. And then lastly, we have span, which is one on, two off, and that will combine the drives one after the other to give you a large drive. The downside of that is if one drive dies, you lose both. So the highest performance mode is going to be RAID 0, and the safest mode will be mirror mode, or RAID 1. So let's start out with RAID 0. I'll place both of these down. And let's install the hard drives. The drives I'm going to be using are these Iron Wolf NAS drives. They're six terabytes. These are 7200 RPM drives. So to install the drive, I'll set it in here, and then I'll slide it to get the connector connected. And then I'll put screws in here. Let's see what screws we have. So it looks like the black screws will be for the drive. And it came with a little screwdriver. So there's going to be four screws per drive. And I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, we have all of the drives mounted up. And we still have access to those dip switches. And now we want to slide it back into the enclosure. And this is an aluminum enclosure. It feels really nice. And we have that pull tab here. And on the opposite side, we have the screw holes. And there's just two screws. So now this is much heavier. You can see this has grooves in it for a heat sink. Then on the back, we have a power button, USB-C port, and the power jack. We also have a cooling fan. So we have intake vents on the front, and the exhaust fan is on the back. So let's get this connected up. I'll plug this into power. I'll plug the power in here. Now I'll plug the USB-C port in the back, and I'll plug the other end into my computer. So this did not come with instructions, but actually reading on the Amazon page, we want to initialize this in JBOD mode. So I'll switch these back to JBOD, and I'll put this in the enclosure and I won't put the screws in yet. So I'll place those in, I'll plug everything back in, and we'll head over to the computer. Okay, so I'm over here at my computer. I plugged in the drive, I'll press power. Now I'm on a Mac, but this would also work on a PC. So I can hear the drives booting up. Now on my Mac, I'm going to go into the disk utility. Now it's showing both drives. It says the disk you attached is not readable by this computer. I'll say ignore on both. And we can see the two drives here. So I'm going to erase both drives. Call it drive one. And I'm going to set these as Mac OS extended journal. Now if you're on PC, you'll probably set it as NTFS. I'll hit done. I'll go to the second drive. I'll erase it. I'll hit done. Let's go ahead and do a speed test on the drives as is. Okay, so those are the speed tests for both drives. We got around 220 megabytes per second read and write. So I'm going to eject these. We'll turn this off and then I'll unplug it and we'll switch to RAID mode. So we'll go to RAID zero, I'll switch these both off and we'll plug this back in and I'll turn it on. 
So back over our computer, it says it's not recognizing the drive. So we'll say ignore. We'll go back into our disk utility, and now we will reformat it again. So I'll go to Erase. I'll name this. The erase is complete. I'll hit Done. Let's go back into our speed test. Let's also look at the drive itself. So it says here we have a 12 terabyte capacity, and these are 6 terabyte drives. We'll hit Start. So we're getting around 360 megabytes per second write and about 380 read. So we're not quite doubling our speed, but it's significantly faster than without the RAID 0. Let's try copying something to this. So this folder on my desktop is just under 24 gigabytes. Let's copy it to the drive. Okay, so I sped that up there, but I put up on the screen the amount of time it actually took. So if we go here, we can see the file. So this is running across both of the drives to increase the speed. Let's try out the mirror mode. Now, every time you format or switch modes, you're going to be erasing the drives. So keep that in mind. You don't want to switch these with data on the drives that you actually need. So I'll eject. I'll turn this off. I'll unplug everything. Pull this out. So for mirror raid, I want one off, two on. So I'll press two up. I'll plug it back in. We'll head back to the computer. We'll initialize the drive. We'll hit done. So let's do a speed test now. So it is possible that this will run slower. So we'll test that. Okay, so for the write speed, we're a little bit slower. For the read, we're about the same. And I'm comparing that to running the drives individually or in JBOD mode. Of course, this is slower than the striped mode. But if you want redundancy, this is the way to go. So when we finally have this configured, we can put the screws in the bottom to keep the case on. So that's the Acasis dual hard drive array box. I like how easy this is to add storage to a computer. Now I put two six terabyte drives in, but according to the Amazon description, this supports up to two 18 terabyte drives for a combined total of 36 terabytes. So this is very flexible, where you can use the mirrored mode to have redundancy or the striped mode for more performance. A drive like this would be great for storing lots of media. This would be good for doing backup. So if you want to backup your Mac or PC, you could put two drives in here. You can use that RAID 1 mode and it will write to both drives so you can have a really solid backup. Now, if you do set up a backup, you want to check it regularly to make sure it's actually working. And you may want a second backup that's off-site, but this could be part of a comprehensive backup plan. But you don't have to have any special skills to set this up. You just install the drives, initialize it, hit the dip switches, initialize it again, and you're good to go. Now, this did not come with any instructions in the package, but it did have instructions on the Amazon page. And it's pretty straightforward. If you've ever set up a drive enclosure, this is going to be pretty much the same. And if you haven't, it's not too hard to figure out. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.